You may be surprised to know that at least one in 20 people carry a mutant gene for a haemoglobin disorder. Haemoglobin is the oxygen carrying protein found in red blood cells. In normal individuals, red blood cells are round and shaped like a donut without the hole in the center. However, individuals who suffer from sickle cell anemia have these irregular crescent-shaped blood cells. This is caused by mutations to the adult haemoglobin gene. With current therapeutic strategies for haemoglobin disorders carrying various limitations, we need to find an alternative approach to treat these affected individuals, and the answer could lie within your genes. Interestingly, the symptoms of sickle cell anemia do not appear in affected individuals at the time of birth. This is because we produce a different type of haemoglobin when we are a fetus inside our mother's womb compared to the haemoglobin which is running through your bloodstreams right now. Fetal haemoglobin can be thought of as a super haemoglobin, having the ability to strip oxygen from the mother's bloodstream and transferring it to that of the growing fetus. However, once we are born, the fetal haemoglobin gene is no longer required and gradually goes to sleep, while the adult haemoglobin gene takes over the role of oxygen transportation. It is at this transition point that the symptoms of sickle cell anemia start to appear in those affected individuals, as the mutant adult gene is unable to perform the role of the once fully functional fetal gene. Sickle cell anemia is a genetic disease, with the mutant adult gene often being passed down the generations through families. Interestingly, a rare group of individuals have been identified who do not show any symptoms of sickle cell anemia despite having inherited the adult mutant gene. Upon further examination, it was discovered that these individuals have a beneficial condition, which means that their fetal haemoglobin gene continues to be an awake and active during adult life. The fact that this condition alleviates the symptoms of sickle cell anemia provides strong living evidence to suggest that reawakening the sleeping fetal haemoglobin gene will act as a therapeutic strategy to treat these haemoglobin disorders. My research focuses on understanding how the fetal haemoglobin gene falls asleep in normal individuals and how this molecular process is disrupted in people who continue to have an awake and active fetal gene during adult life. We've identified a protein which acts like a switch, sending the fully functional fetal gene to sleep around the time of birth. My aim is to block this switching protein and to reawaken the sleeping fetal gene. We believe that this will compensate for the presence of the mutant adult gene, alleviating those symptoms of sickle cell anemia and restoring a normal, healthy life to those affected individuals. It is hoped that this research will increase our understanding of sickle cell anemia and provide insight into new therapeutic options for sufferers of this condition. Thank you.